in this lecture we are going to understand the concept of transversal line you all must have played snakes and ladders so in a ladder what happens is that there are two lines and then there are further lines which kind of cut these lines i mean obviously in your ladder you would have only this portion but this particular line this particular line which cuts any two other lines let's say this line and this line is known as a transversal so a transversal line is a line which cuts two or more lines at distinct points so this particular line if i were to see let's say suppose this line this line is basically cutting this line at this point and this line at this point so this particular line is a transversal line let's say suppose you have something like this let's say this line is l m and this line is p so line p is cutting line m at say point a and line p is also cutting line l at point b so line p is a transversal line right similarly if i were to try and point it out separately let's say i have this as line l this is m and this is p now when this point p cuts l and m there are several angles which are formed so you have basically let's see it in a different color maybe this is say angle 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there are eight angles in form which are formed when a transversal line cuts the other two lines now there are some interesting facts and properties which are there if you kind of try to understand this on the transversal lines let me just take you through them just bear with me for a minute as i kind of erase this thing from here and we have some more point to this is as bad as erasing on the black board but nevertheless this is required okay yeah now in this case basically the angles which are formed between the two lines in this case which are the two lines line l and m so all the angles which lie between these two lines when the transversal p is the transversal cuts it so say angle 3 4 5 and 6 all these angle lie between the two lines which have been intersected by the transversal these are called the interior angle what do you mean by interior interior means inside the house that's the most common thing you've heard so inside these two lines the angles which are there are known as the interior angle as a corollary it follows that the others which is 1 2 7 and 8 are exterior angles right there's something which is called the corresponding angles Now what do you mean by this if i see 1 and 
these basically lie on the same side of the transversal. So these are on the left of the transversal and they are above the two lines which are being intersected. So 5 is above M and 1 is above L. So corresponding angles are something like 1 and 5, okay, 2 and 6. Similarly, 3 and 7 and 4 and 8. So these are the corresponding angles. Right? Okay. So let's move to the next one which is alternate interior angle. Now basically if I see 3 here and 6 here, we knew that 3, 4, 5, 6 are the this, this, this and this are the interior angles. So if I see 3 and 6, they are alternate to each other. Similarly, 4 and 5 are alternate to each other. So these are called alternate interior angles. Now if you have alternate interior angles, you have alternate exterior angles. So 1 and 8 and 2 and 7. Right? These are some of the properties and the some of the definitions that you need to be aware of as you deal with your transversal line concepts.